Welcome once again to Lato's Law. Here's Steve Lato. I have to tell you, one of the things I like is I ask people to send me stories they think I might find interesting. And I got quite a few messages sent to me last night regarding a story that people knew was personal to me. And I live in southeastern Michigan. I talk about that all the time. And I mentioned I've got a canoe that I take out from time to time. And I canoe the rivers and lakes of Michigan and the Great Lakes as well in my canoe. And so several people sent me a note saying, Steve, did you see that the Sanford Dam and the Titabawassee River right now uh, are having issues with respect to all the rainfall you've had in southeastern Michigan? And I had people in other countries send me the link, meaning that people made the connection that I've done a video about the Sanford Dam in the Sanford area and the Titabawassee River, or simply to southeastern Michigan. I had several people say, Steve, are you in this area? Are you okay? And I am okay. Um, I'm a good distance from the area in question, but I've gone canoeing in this area. And while we're talking, I'm going to put up on, on camera some clips of me canoeing on the river we're talking about right here. I'll just keep talking, so you, but you can see what the river looked like. The difference is when I was on the river last summer, it was low. And it's the exact opposite of that right now. So from CNN, and Jerry sent me this. I think he may have been the first person. Thousands evacuate area in Michigan after two dams fail. And the governor warns one city could see nine feet of water. And this, you know, occasionally after a hurricane hits down south, or you'll see this happening in some of the areas that are very, very low but close to the ocean where they have typhoons and things like that. But in Michigan, we don't get this kind of catastrophic flooding that often. And they're talking about this might be like one of these, you know, once in 100 year things or once in 500 year things. This is crazy. Governor Whitmer declared a state of emergency for one county after two dams failed in the area following heavy rains and flash floods across the state. Uh, Rob Fries, Christina Seguelia, and Christina Maxuris wrote the story for CNN. Both the Edenville and Sanford dams breached Tuesday night. The governor said in a news release and urged residents in the area to evacuate the affected areas in Midland County immediately. If you have a family member or loved one who lives in another part of the state, go there now. If you don't, go to one of the shelters that have opened up across the county. Residents should seek higher ground as far east and west of the Titabawassee River as possible, according to the City of Midland website. So when I went canoeing, I canoed the Titabawassee River, which goes out, joins the Saginaw River, and eventually gets out to Saginaw Bay on Lake Huron. And I made it about halfway down. I was hoping to get to the lake, but I made it about halfway down because the river was so low that I had to get out and walk. And I also couldn't run my motor in places, so I had to paddle. <laughs> and when Douglas Houghton did it back in 1837, of course, he had guys paddling for him, and they paddled up and down the river in a couple of days. But the Titabawassee River is dammed at several places upstream, and the furthest down is at Sanford. And so that's where I put the canoe in just downstream of the Sanford Dam. And so when I put it in the water, it's like, you know, a foot, two feet deep. And there's this big old dam that forms Sanford Lake. And if you ever drive across Michigan in that area on US 10, US 10 goes right across Sanford Lake. There's a lake on both sides. And it's clearly like they put the, they put the road right through the middle of it. And the, and the lake is formed by that dam. And there's four dams, I believe. Sanford is one of them and two more upstream. Edenville would be the next one up, and the Edenville breached first. And some areas got six or eight inches of rain in a very short period of time. And that's the problem is, of course, it, it accumulates so quickly, it's got no place to go. So it burst the Edenville Dam, and then it burst the Sanford Dam late last night. Um, in the next 12 to 15 hours, downtown Midland could be under approximately nine feet of water. The governor said in a news conference, we are anticipating an historic high water level. The National Weather Service in Detroit said on Twitter, a flash flood emergency continues in Midland County through 7.30 a.m. Wednesday. So the flash flood emergency is now over. It's after that time that I'm shooting this video. But there are um, going to be a long-term period where, you know, waiting till the water recedes and, of course, the cleanup begins. Uh, Mark Bone is the chairman of the Midland County Board of Commissioners, said he believes about 3,500 homes and 10,000 people have so far been affected by the evacuation notices. Uh, no deaths or injuries have been reported so far, and the timing of the dam breaches is especially difficult as officials are trying to take precautions to prevent the spread of the coronavirus as people gather in the shelters that have been set up. Now, teams are trying to screen individuals being sheltered, and emergency response personnel have plenty of personal protective equipment and are wearing masks. 
He also said there are masks available for anyone going into the shelters. To go through this in the midst of a global pandemic is almost unthinkable, but we are here and the best of our ability, we're going to navigate this together, the governor said. So please, to the best of your ability, continue to wear a face covering when you go to a shelter or go to stay with a friend or relative. The Michigan National Guard has been activated and is on site with high water vehicles on the way to the area. Um, the state's emergency operations center has also been fully activated and is responding to the emergency. And there have been several other stories, and I'm not going to get too heavily into it right now because it's just it's just uh, too much information in too many different directions. And I always try to keep my videos as much as possible <laughs> on one topic. And I understand that I don't always accomplish that. But these dams are, some of them, operated by a power company. And they're not run by the government. They're run by a power company. And my understanding is that there have been warnings People have raised, including the federal commission that oversees these kinds of things. And they've come in and said these dams do not appear to be adequately maintained or capable of withstanding the kinds of things they might encounter in the near future. And there was apparently an argument that broke out between a federal agency and the owners of some of these dams about whether or not they should upgrade them or how much it would cost to upgrade them or who would bear the costs of upgrading them. And I saw a quote in another article where somebody on the side of the dams said, well, you know, we think we can withstand anything that's likely to happen. And for there to be a breaching event is like a one in a million or one in 10 million type thing. And it's never going to happen. Well, the problem is one in a million just happened. And, and so here we are. So um, I will follow this story and that aspect of it. Because there's going to be questions about who's going to pay to clean this up. Um, and obviously, the state and the federal government might step in and help pay a lot of it clean up because that's what they do, uh, FEMA and so on. But there's going to be some other arguments to be made about, well, there were warnings made, weren't there? And if there were warnings made, uh, were the warnings heeded as they should have been? But again, two dams have breached on the Titabawassee River. One is the Sanford Dam near the town of Sanford. And then the other one was the uh, um, Edenville Dam further upstream. I forgot how far upstream that was, but the Edenville Dam burst first. In fact, I saw footage that someone had shot from an airplane flying over the Edenville Dam. And it became very obvious with the amount of overflow that it was going to follow the river and it was going to hit Sanford. And, and so I saw notices last night start popping up on Twitter and elsewhere saying that the Sanford Dam might be in trouble. So uh, Sanford's a, a neat little town. And, and the reason I'm so familiar with it is that in 1837, Douglas Houghton and his men went there. Douglas Houghton was the state geologist, and I wrote a book about him. And he went there specifically looking for salt because there were salt springs in the area. And he's looking for places where they could exploit and possibly mine salt. And so he found a spot, marked it, and there's a historical marker on the site that says Michigan Salt Well Number 1, uh, and it tells the story of that. And that's not far from the Sanford Dam, I'm guessing about a quarter of a mile downstream. Uh, and unfortunately, that area right now is probably underwater. So the waters will recede. There'll be a lot of cleanup and a lot of uh, stuff to take care of here. So I hope everyone's okay. I hope everyone gets the message and, um, you know, uh, do what we can to help these people. But again, thousands evacuate area in Michigan after two dams fail, and the governor warns that one, the city could see nine feet of water. Questions or comments, put them below. Otherwise, I'll talk to you later. Bye bye. Thank you for watching Lato's Law. Look at the stars. Look at how they shine for you.